Hello everyone, I'm Double J. Welcome back to the Sinking City. <laughs> Every time I'm going to introduce the video, he whips his head around just as I'm about to talk. <laughs> oh, first time it gave me a chuckle. Oh, it's like the third time in a row he's done that. My timing is impeccable. Anyways, welcome back to the Sinking City, I think part six. Um, we're going to work on the main case some more. Since I said we'd only do, you know, we'd, we'd alternate back and forth side and main. So let's work on the main case. We're going to go to, uh, we need to go down here to the boat to Devil's Teeth. Because that's where we need to dive. So we're going to head down there. We're probably just going to pop over to the Grimhaven Bay Central and then walk to the pier. So without further ado, let's get a move on. Head on down here, out of the Devil's Reef. That is just absolutely creepy as all get out, though. I mean, oh, man. All right, I think it's down here. Looks like it's down Pier 3 and then to the right, so... Should it be right over here? If I'm not mistaken? This thing? This thing. We're going to go out there in this thing. Why don't we take that thing? <laughs> All the captains in the hospital, that's why. All right, well, that was that was beautifully quick. Ooh, nice lighthouse. Wait, we can go ahead and... Uh, unpin this. There we go. So we are just, just right here. Do we change? We've got the suit, right? We got that from the diving suit factory. Okay, oh, cool car. Just chilling underwater there. Now there's some mechanics to deal with here too. Like if your suit gets hurt, you crank something. I can't quite remember, but there's actually mechanics in the suit, too. Here. The harpoon stuns hostile creatures for a short time. Great. Hostile creatures. Uh, flares light your way and can distract hostile creatures. E. If damaged, hold to slowly recover your dive suit's pressure. Okay. So, great. Hostile creatures. Chemical lamps are nearly spent, but I reckon I can still follow them. Okay, we just we just read that. We were ahead of the game. This stone isn't natural. No, it is not. Statue. Ah, oh, this is cool though. Definitely. I'm definitely glad I played this right after Soma, because I'm getting that same kind of vibe. Oh, we can queue under here though. Oh, that's not that's not necessarily a good sign. Oh, hi. We're not going down there, are we? Oh, whoa, whoa. Are you seeing that massive shadow back there? Oh, no, thank you. Are we are we just legit going down here? I mean, I suppose we could just kind of float down, right? I mean, the lights are down here. Ow. Oh, man. Yeah. 
I just wanted to see if we actually had the harpoon gun. This must be a flare, right? Yep. Okay. Ooh, hello. Ah! Oh, jeez. Right in front of me. What in the heck are those things? They kind of remind me of the the tentacle thing that came under the garage door in the mist. Oh, okay. Um, poofed. We have poofed. Key evidence collected. Oh, we doing a new fun dance? We bunny bunny hoppy hoppy? Gods lean over us. Gods crawl in us. Gods who have marked me as their aphid. Okay. We did get a new mind palace clue. Uh, madness emanates from the scientists. The suits are all cut oh, up. Oh, what the hell? They really did not want to come back, huh? Sancta Mare, be our eyes, eyes to see the distant stars. Okay, sounds good. Hark, he comes, the sacred full-bellied bearer of splendor. That's a mouthful. Make me, make me, I beg you. Bearer of what? Who are you talking to? What happened? Uh, our, our, our eyes. First, second, third, opened by the aura. You see much, yet do not see the splendid shell of the white virgin here sleeping. Cut the horse crap. Give me a straight <laughs> answer. Nonsense. <laughs> but, but it is meaning that is meaningless. Open yourself. Walk. Listen. Pray. Wake, you holy worm. Take his skin and skull for your home. Take my worship and grant your kindness. I pray you. Ooh, okay. It's a little woo -hoo. Uh, Members of the expedition who took part in the dive returned witless and babbling. Madness had taken hold of them there. Actually, was this something I... You see now, do you? The splendid horror of the truth. A perfectly preserved artifact. Was it the focus of their worship? Oh, that thing alive? Or is that a statue? What is that noise? Like those spines, is that? <laughs> is that an actual creature there? knife and a cult sign. I think I better show Mr. Throckmorton. Okay, let's see. We got this one. Into the temple the moment they take the key seal. Get ready to cut up their diving suits. Ah, oh, somebody else did that. Forget them. Get the seed and the 
seal now. The seed. Okay. What? It's shivering. This is uh, no. Uh, get away from me. I think I'm starting to get the picture. Was it in the order I looked at it? Then they... to the temple the moment they take the key seal get rid of this one it looks like they're already seal. taking them right so maybe maybe this one and then this one because this looks like they're walking them out what it's shivering forget them get the seed and the seal now the it was she found an artifact that drove them mad and then the Innsmouthers stole it and the professor in one go. Bam. Key evidence collected, but not all evidence. A ritual knife and a cult sign. Oh, we already got this. I think I better show Mr. Throckmorton. Uh, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Settle. Alright, what do we got? Photo of Innsmouther killed in the underwater temple. He's wearing a strange amulet with an image of a fisheye around his neck. For some reason, he is armed with a ceremonial dagger. Innsmouthers ambushed the expedition on the seabed in the caverns they had discovered. They waited until Professor Doe took the artifact and then attacked. The attackers seized the professor and the object, leaving the remainder of the expedition to their fates. Okay. Hybrids wanted to recover... Strange artifact take from the ruins and find the one responsible for observing it. No, this and then this. I can't leave the survivors to die here. Even if their madness may influence others, this was not their fault. I have to abandon the survivors. Their infectious madness is too dangerous to bring to the surface. They knew the risks. Well, I mean, this is partially... I mean, I understand this. I understand both points of view. Let's go and save. All right, let's save the survivors. Um, with Albert and the mad scientists, Madness and Titania, the outbreak of Madness and Titania was caused by Albert's presence. The crew exiled him on the lifeboat to stop it. And this does what? Albert was the source of the madness. Albert Doug Morton was the source of the madness that made the Titania crew kill one another. Ah. Now we're coming together. What else do we have? Burn documents? There, uh, and authors knew, know the truth about the madness. They need the artifact and Harriet, the one who took it. Oh, and that all comes together to this. I have to save the expedition. I must tell Robert where the survivors are and start searching for Harriet. All right, so we've made some progress in the mine palace. But... We have not gotten all evidence, I don't think. It said key evidence. So I'm just curious. Is there anywhere else? Anything else? Uh oh. So those little stand in the jiggers need a picture taken, right? So wasn't there one? Somewhere around here? Or are these all just lights? I thought I saw another camera one. There we go. First thing I missed. Or, that sentence was said wrong. First thing in the cave I missed on the way in. <laughs> Alright, let's head out. How are we going to go back though? Because... Like we went down quite a few cliffs. 
Oh, all right, we're just gonna drift up. Oh, okay, we're gonna launch up. You ever heard of the bins? Yeah, exactly. Slow it down, maybe one balloon. Maybe one balloon. Next time, buddy. All right. So then we head back to the Throgmartens. Oh, we got lore. Mythos. Prehistoric statue. Hmm, who does that look like to you? Hmm? Cthulhu? Alright, uh... Did I talk to Throgmorton about this? Uh... And this, right? What's this? Southern Old Grove. Oh. Okay, I gotta go to his manor. Remember, we found that where we looked at it. Uh, at one point. It was like right here. Yeah. Yep. Alright, let's head on back to the mainland. Uh oh. That's not good. Excuse me? Oh, what is that? No, no, pull it out. That's gross. Wait, how do we get here? How do we get all the way back to our own room? Somebody carried us. Was that Johann von Derberg? All right, we're back here. Doctors at the Boston Asylum were looking for a way to fix me. Proved to be a tall order. At first, it asked me questions. I thought my story would be reported to the officials, but they were just making a list of things to fix. I feared water, so they swatted me in, swatted me in drenched sheets. Told them about the things in the darkness, so they kept me in dark rooms blindfolded. No progress until they brought the electrodes. They kept my thoughts jumbled. Only the words of the doctor held my mind together. He told me who I am and how to think. He gave me concoctions to keep me sane. Seems I'm getting used to it. Question is, for better or worse? Jeez. No matter how much of this I chug down, the visions always return. I remember that. I don't remember the diary, though. All right, let's head on over to the Throgmorton Manor. I will see you when we get there. All right, and according to the map, we just head straight on down this this way. That's that's that, isn't it? Oh yeah, Gorilla Man statue. Okay, so. I'm gonna guess the entrance is up here. There we go. There's the man himself, and Albert. Yeah, the mortician has touched him up well. Oh, I could lie again still? I've got news, Mr. Throgmorton. The expedition members are alive. They're on the seabed, in the sunken ruins. Some sort of ancient temple. They have enough air, but we need to hurry. What happened? 
Why didn't the sailors help them? The crew of the Titania mutinied against Sanders. The only man who escaped was your son. They put him on a lifeboat. The mutineers will face justice. Throwing Albert to the whims of the sea, he will be avenged. I'm afraid that's not all. The Innsmouthers took the expedition's discoveries and kidnapped the professor. What? Those degenerates. How did that happen? Mm. Both? The Innsmouthers. They knew about the temple. They waited there, hiding until the professor took what the Innsmouthers call the seal. But how did they manage to catch my scientists off guard? It seems that after the seal was taken from its place, everyone in the expedition suffered some kind of mental breakdown. The Innsmouthers must have known about that, waited for the right moment. Then they made off with Professor Doe and the artifact. Drock! The Innsmouthers! Do you have proof they were involved? One of the attackers was killed by a member of the expedition. I have a photo. My expedition failed. My boy was killed. This is more than personal, Mr. Reed. This is a threat to everyone. They have Harriet, and the artifact she found, but she may still be alive. That's why I hesitate to wipe their fish-faced kin from Oakmont this instant. <laughs> but we won't sit idle. Find them, Mr. Reed. Not the grunts, but their leaders. Infiltrate their ranks if need be. Bring me my professor back. How's this connected to my investigation, or what do I get out of it? Both kind of asshole-ish questions. Um... No, well, we're gonna get at, yelled at either way. I'm looking into the madness, not politics and power games. And your best source of information is currently in the slimy hands of those Innsmouthers. Yep. Professor Doe shared the visions. She found something inside those ruins, and now they have her. She knows something crucial, I'm certain. There's also a more delicate matter I wanted to discuss with you, Mr. Reed. Oh? I can be delicate when it matters. So shoot. I have a... a colleague, you might say. His name is Herbert Glover. Like myself, he is a uh, collector of fine art. I'm a detective, Mr. Throgmorton, not a burglar. I don't care for your insinuation, Mr. Reed. I would never be so crass as to hire a thief. I had a meeting arranged with Herbert. One of uh, great importance, shall we say. One at which he failed to appear. I want you to find out why. All right. That sounds simple enough. Okay, I'll do it. Very good, Mr. Reed. There is one final detail. This case must remain secret, and you must not reveal to anyone for whom you are working. Got Discretion it. is my watchword. Indeed. Here is Herbert's address and an advance for your investigation. You'll find it's fair. Thank you. Have a good day. Oh, a lot of XP. Uh, ooh. All right, quid pro quo. Where Glover gone? Delicate matter. Okay, let's let the pop-ups go crazy here, and then we'll we'll check out. Okay, lore. What do we got for documents? Oh, yeah, my diary. And <laughs> I also found this hobo thing. This note about hobo signs. Um, quid pro quo. I must investigate and discover who attacked this expedition. Doug Morton's expedition was attacked in the depths beneath Oakmont. Professor Harriet Dull, expedition's leader, was captured. The others were all left to die. The attackers all had distinctly fish-like features. Innsmouth syndrome, as the locals call it. One of the assailants was killed in the fight. He carried a dagger, kill your golden amulet. Uh, must be, there must be evidence of more such crimes throughout the city. 
Oh, okay. This this little book. I need to pay more attention to the little subtle clues it drops. They have like little things up here. Like when I have like a compass, that means it's a map location. This is a book, which means I have to go to like the the, the archives and search up stuff. Okay, and then a delicate matter. Uh, what happened to Herbert Glover? The Golden Ridge, Gold, Gold Bridge Road in Central Old Grove. Okay, so Gold Bridge between Wind, Wind Half and Century. Okay, he's on Gold Bridge between Wind Half and Century. This is Herbert. Now, what's the other one we got? Where's Glover gone? That's kind of that same case, isn't it? Yeah, okay. All right. Well, we finished. We finished that case. Now we're on to quid pro quo. So I'm going to go ahead and call this episode here. Actually, I'm going to explore around a little bit. And then I'll call the episode here. Case if there's any goody goods I can looty loot. You know, he's a he's a well to do gentleman. He's a fine fellow. Uh, in loving memory of it, Throgmorton, son of respected Robert Throgmorton, and descendant of a robust bloodline, died on Thursday at Oakmont Port, age 25. Uh, we mourn his untimely death, but we celebrate the way he lived his life. Throgmorton family appreciates the many comforting words of prayer sent. By the citizens of Oakmont. Okay. Can we go anywhere else? Can we go down here? Don't mind me I'm just snooping around your mansion. Oh, I thought that was a looty loot box. But it was not. This guy's got a lot of pianos. Or... Maybe that, that wasn't a piano. That looks like piano. There's a piano up here. Can we go upstairs? There's a piano up here. We were in a, a similar layout house. I remember saying how the dude was well to do. We went in here and it, Door won't budge. it looped around and we came back out those doors. Nothing. Man, you ain't gonna throw me a bone. You ain't gonna give me some free gooch good goodies. Speaking of, should probably craft away here. But more maxed out on stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and heal ourselves quick. I'm going to make another one of these. And skills. We got a skill point. What should we put this in? I kind of want to get more XP. But this has remained sane for far longer than any ordinary human. This is plus 10%. So the more XP you get, the faster you get these skills. So it would behoove us to boost the amount of XP we get because then we can get these skills faster. So I think we'll do this. And then we're close to getting another skill, which won't shouldn't take much longer now. We got 10% more uh, XP from other sources. Uh, 25 pieces. Oh, I wouldn't mind carrying more. I am a hoarder. 15% chance to save material when crafting explosives. Additions to chance to save material and crafting in general. Cool. So this is all about hoarding and saving. And this is just carrying more. One more grenade. Three more rifle rounds. Six more revolver rounds. We're going to get a rifle, a shotgun, and a submachine gun. Sweet. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I do believe we will call the episode here. 
we have finished the main case that we were working on. So the next one, I think we'll do, uh, I think we'll go quid pro quo. We'll do one more main case before we go back to side quests, side cases. But that's for the next video. This video is done. And I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you liked it, please leave a like on the video. It really helps out a lot. Subscribe if you're not already. Hit that bell so you're notified when I upload another video. And as always, I hope you have a wonderful day. We'll see you on the next video. Bye for now. So